Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Robin, and I'm on a public bench again. This one actually is pretty, pretty, very pretty. Um, I know you're not seeing the surrounding. I might scoop in an extra shot to uh, bring you along in the beautiful context of where we're at. Um, I'm not going to tell where we're at at the moment. I'm not going to say where my counterpart is from. I'll leave it all up to her. But I have uh, Dana, Dana Marin here with me on the bench. Uh, we've been in touch for quite a while, but never met in person. So this is uh, quite a milestone. Um, I'm happy you said yes to the invitation. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely, uh, my pleasure. And um, uh, yeah. Today is again about A Good Place. For those who don't know the concept, Good Place is an interview series uh, both on YouTube and across multiple podcast channels um, where we invite people over for a conversation about life and the place they live in. Um, so why, why have we started this? Is because there are different people from different backgrounds, both international, both local, who have a reason of why they live here and uh, why they live in a city or in a particular place. And I'd love to learn more about these people, about their arguments and about their reasons, about their values. And hopefully it inspires you as well to, um, yeah, to reevaluate the place that you live in. Uh, maybe uh, decide to make a move somewhere because you realize uh, you're, it's time for something new, whatever. Um, Funny enough, I already got an in invitation from somebody through Instagram DM um, about doing an interview. He's actually moving from South Africa to, uh, to Utrecht. So that's happening later this year. So yeah, if you have a story to share, uh, definitely reach out through our channels. Um, but first off, um, today we're here. Um, should be not be about us, it should be about you. Um, so uh, Dana, if you could take the floor and tell us a bit more about you. Hi Robin, uh, hi everyone, nice to see you here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. I was uh, really excited when I heard about this idea because I love talking about places and good places and life. <laughs> uh, my name is Dana Marin. Um, I come from Romania and I live in the Netherlands for uh, about 13 years, I guess. 13? <laughs> I think 13, okay. yeah, in December. Um, I uh, live in Alkmaar now, but I used to live in Amsterdam. I lived in Amsterdam for nine years before moving to Alkmaar. So I can tell you about uh, big moves <laughs> if uh, you're <laughs> interested about that. It was a big move for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm from Amsterdam to, to Alkmaar. Alkmaar was yeah, a big move. well, okay. of course, from Romania to the Netherlands exactly. as well, yeah. but uh, from then from Amsterdam to Alkmaar because. I never thought I will move out of Amsterdam, and okay. I did. Um, what do I do? <laughs> I am a, a blogger and a, a writer and a photographer, and I also do social media management. Yeah, I'm a digital creator. You know, I think uh, it's yeah. easier to call it like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But you run your own websites and blogs. Yes, I have, uh, yeah. I have I uh, have three websites at the moment. I have uh, a blog uh, in Romanian about uh, my personal life in the Netherlands. And I have Amsterdamian, which is uh, a blog about Amsterdam and the Netherlands. It's in English and everybody can read it. Actually, they can read the Romanian <laughs> one as well. I have a Google Translate button okay, on there. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> um, and I have uh, a new website now. Uh, Oh, wow, the ch children yeah, are loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have a new website now about uh, my uh, work, my social media management work. <laughs> and I'm trying to post some articles there as well. So okay. I oh. really love this thing. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that's also why we, uh, why we connected huh? um, through our network called A City Made by People. And then we, of course, read each other's work and, and support each other's work. So I think, yeah, you felt like a perfect um, um, person to invite here. I mean, first things first, like why, what made you move uh, from Romania? It, was it Bucharest? Yeah. To, uh, to Amsterdam and, and why, when 
and why did you make the move from Amsterdam to Alkmaar? Um, first, uh, when I moved from Bucharest, in Romania I lived in a few places, so not only Bucharest. I was living in Bucharest for five years when I moved to the Netherlands. Um, airplanes, airplanes. <laughs> very low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, very old. Very old indeed. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they are taking pictures maybe. Uh, or filming, yes, wave. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I was living in Bucharest for five years before uh, I moved to the Netherlands, to Amsterdam. Uh, I moved here with my uh, boyfriend at the time. Um, we wanted to change countries and this was the choice. <laughs> yes. So we moved to Amsterdam nice. like that. And then I lived in Amsterdam, as I said, for nine years. Um, and I decided to move to Alkmaar. Um, after about two years of thinking, <laughs> um, I felt at that point that Amsterdam was becoming too crowded for me. Uh, although when I moved to Amsterdam, I considered Amsterdam like a village. Mm. It seemed so quiet and so, you know, nice after Bucharest. <laughs> but at the moment I moved out of Amsterdam, I think Amsterdam changed a lot during those years. Mm. And um, it, was, um, it was crowded, it was uh, too busy for me. Yeah. And then there was the matter of uh, buying a house because I wanted to buy something. Okay. And uh, Amsterdam was very difficult, as mm. you mm. know. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I started looking outside Amsterdam. Um, I checked a few places and Alkmaar just happened. So it was not, I want to move to Alkmaar, you know, it just happened. Mm. I went there uh, just to see a house. It was an open house day. Okay. And I was like, yeah, why not? Um, Had you been before? Yeah, one, okay. just once okay. um, visiting, you know, like a tourist. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a very beautiful city, mm -hmm. so yeah how can you not love it but i went there on an autumn day it was october so soon uh, it will be the anniversary of my move to alkmaar nice. which is a very nostalgic moment for me <laughs> <laughs> celebration <laughs> yes uh, and i arrived there on the audekracht and you know it was everything was yellow all all the trees were yellow and it was sunny and it was mm. so beautiful and the house uh, well it's a little studio that um, I was seeing wa uh, was on this uh, very small canal yeah. and uh, yeah I fell in love with the place okay. and it was actually the first house I was seeing and I decided okay oh, wow. I wanted it wow. <laughs> yeah so that's a, a place you bought actually yeah nice. yeah so that's how I ended up in Alkmaar and I've been living there for uh, Five years, I mm -hmm, guess. Mm -hmm. uh, no, four. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my math. Uh, so four, it's four years. Four-year anniversary. Yes, okay. yes, soon. Well, I moved in December, but uh, I consider October like the anniversary because that was that was when we first met. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, sometimes I talk about cities, like uh, I compare cities with uh, relationships or boyfriends. Okay, okay. <laughs> now it's getting interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to make this uh, analogy. Okay. Um, and I think Alkmaar is like, um, I don't know, like a quiet, uh, uh, more <laughs> relaxed boyfriend after you've been in a crazy relationship with someone else like Amsterdam, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who was uh, very nice, but uh, and exciting, mm. but Sometimes maybe naughty. too much. Yeah, yeah but yeah. maybe too much at some point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, actually very interesting. You're actually from all those conversations the first that compares the city to a boyfriend or <laughs> or for others a girlfriend. You know, yeah. <laughs> for that matter. Uh, Cool. And, and um, were you actually then actively seeking for a more quieter boyfriend or it just, it just happened? No, I was actively seeking for the okay. quiet uh, boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I wanted a place. Uh, I was, you know, checking all these uh, YouTube videos of people moving somewhere. Uh, whoop, um, <laughs> of people moving somewhere in the countryside yeah. and living a simple life and I was dreaming about something like that mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like 
moving to the countryside. So I was not ready mm -hmm. yet, mm -hmm. especially because I moved alone. So yeah. I didn't want to be there, lonely. Yeah. you know, lonely. And we all know how difficult it is to make friends when you move uh, mm -hmm. in a new place. And I imagine a village would be even <laughs> more difficult yeah. than usual. Yeah, 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 for sure. But I wanted a smaller uh, city. Um, I considered Alkmaar, uh, Harlem, which is not that small, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. Um, I checked Zandam as well. So I, you had quite a quite a large um, search area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I also wanted to be close closer to nature, mm -hmm. if possible. And uh, Alkmaar uh, is the right place for mm -hmm. that, because I have uh, forests that are close to yeah. the city. I have one forest where I can just walk if I want to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Halo Airbus uh, forest uh, in, yeah. be in between Halo and Alkmaar. Yeah. Um, or I can just cycle and I can cycle to the sea side, mm -hmm. uh, to Egmont and Zee, Bergen, if I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> well, those are very nice areas. Places. They yeah. are, they yeah. are. Yeah. Uh, there is also Skorl, uh, yeah. Skorl dunes. Yeah, yeah. It's so like the steep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the tallest uh, dune in the Netherlands. Mm. I I didn't climb that dune, but uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's there. And and have you made friends? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, luckily, I've made friends. <laughs> um, was it hard? Was it difficult or easy? I think it was difficult because I moved in Alkmaar during the pandemic. I moved there and, uh, you know, it was almost impossible to meet people because you would not go to a restaurant, to a bar or any other kind of meetings. Uh, I knew someone when I met, uh, when I moved there, a friend from Amsterdam okay. um, introduced me to her friend in Alkmaar. Okay, nice. So she and her partner became, uh, they became my first friends mm -hmm. in Alkmaar. Mm -hmm. And during the pandemic, they were the only people I was seeing. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Just for like for two years. Yeah, well, I at some point I, um, I came to Amsterdam to visit my other friends, but I was scared to travel by train. Mm -hmm. So it was not that often that was happening. But I think one year it was only these people. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah. And That's a special experience. It is. Yeah. It, it was quite a special experience. I moved to Alkmaar, me and my cat. And mm -hmm. we had <laughs> only, <laughs> only a few months to arrange the house a bit with furniture. And mm -hmm. then the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. um, so I was isolated there um, I was doing a lot of biking and nature walks so that was really really helpful to have yeah. uh, around um, but yeah in the meantime luckily I've met more people I have uh, other friends now in Alkmaar nice. yeah and we can do these walks together or you know they can help me when I need some help and I still have my friends in Amsterdam that I have yeah. to visit uh, I have to come to Amsterdam to visit or they visit me in Alkmaar because yeah. they love it there mm, yeah nice. can I um, uh, upon uh, making friends like do you uh, some some cultures as well they rely very much on like I don't know like their own community like a Romanian community or uh, I don't know like a Polish community or so on D does that exist as much as well or is it that yeah people from this from the same country they they look after look more for each other or is it quite mixed and do you also have like a lot of dutch friends um i think it's mixed for me uh, there is a big romanian community here in amsterdam and in the netherlands mm -hmm. i don't have a romanian I, I haven't met the romanian community in alkmaar i'm sure there are others <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but I am involved in the Romanian community in Amsterdam. Okay. There is a Romanian NGO that I am volunteering for. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So I'm in contact with many Romanians. Mm. And I have many Romanian friends, but also other nationalities. Mm. I don't have Dutch friends, at least not direct friends. Okay. So I have uh, more Not like home. the husband of another friend is Dutch or the okay. wife of another friend is Dutch. Mm. So it's more like alliance, friendship. I don't know how you call it. Alliance, <laughs> alliance. or a bonus, bonus friend. Yeah, bonus, bonus, bonus friend. friend. 
Yeah, I don't know. It just didn't you, happen. I mean, it's not, it's not that you moved here like last year. You exactly. Like you've been here quite some, quite some time. Yeah, well, I guess one of the um, reasons is that I don't speak Dutch. Okay. Uh, I don't speak very well, so I tend to speak English no. <laughs> because I feel, you know, weird talking Dutch. And I don't go to events that are maybe tailored only for uh, Dutch speaking people. Mm -hmm. So maybe that w can be one of the reasons. Mm. But I don't know, it just happened. I, I didn't search for a certain nationality, you know, to mm -hmm. to be friends with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, no, exactly. You know. and, um, Which is a good thing. Yeah. It should not be about that. Exactly. No, I have, uh, I've met some of my friends, like dear friends uh, and the oldest ones that I have in Amsterdam. I think they, yeah, for sure, they are the people from my uh, Dutch class. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes. So I've met uh, some of them there, including one Romanian. Okay. Um, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're everywhere. They are following me. <laughs> uh, no, really, because uh, another one of my friends uh, who I've met, we've met through our blogs. Yeah. I didn't know she was Romanian. Okay. So I just I seen the blog and I was like, mm, maybe I should contact this person. I like the blog. It's a photography blog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we talked and we realized, okay, we are both Romanian. <laughs> nice. It it was cool and it was yeah, yeah just yeah, yeah. unexpected thing. And but uh, you connect through photography. Yes, through photography and writing and uh, um, we shared a lot of um, hmm. ideas and. Yeah, we share common passions. Nice. Cool. I mean, you know, it gradually just evolves, right? Friendship. Yeah. And it's also a matter of uh, being or keeping your friendships as well. It's also what's something you realized during the pandemic as well. Mm, yeah. You also notice like people, you know, people come and people go. It's, I, I realize. I also realize that, you know, changing cities also changes connections yeah. um, I mean that's something maybe we can touch upon is that have you noticed that as well that whenever you change a place it also changes certain friendships hmm. yeah I think it does although I uh, I tried very hard to keep okay. my friendships okay. <laughs> at least the best ones you know like the closest friends I tried uh, I, I did some efforts yeah. to keep them and they did as well mm. but indeed uh, along the way you lose some I mean you don't lose them it's just the the connection is not so yeah. close anymore yeah. and you don't talk that often but I still have uh, my friends from uh, from Romania who are talking to me every day so we talk on the chat nice. I have one friend who is uh, sending me a nice photo every morning and saying good morning <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice that's a nice yes. habit so you have to do efforts if you want to keep uh, your yeah. friendships of course that happens uh, anyway not only when you move out of the yeah. city I mean some friendships you have and, and it, it doesn't the distance doesn't is not a factor yeah, yeah. Right. but with some you have because you don't see each other you need that uh, oh, you're, you know, you see each other on, the, on your radar mm -hmm. to remind yourself, ah, that person. Yeah, indeed. And since I moved to Alkmaar, um, yeah, I, I didn't see my Amsterdam friends that mm -hmm. often. And I miss that because mm -hmm. you could just say, you know, send a message. Yeah. Are you up for a coffee in two yeah. hours? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you know, more spontaneous. Yeah, more spontaneous yeah. meetings. And you cannot do that uh, when you are like, half an hour away by train mm -hmm. you have to plan it you have to make sure that NS doesn't have any <laughs> <laughs> disruptions yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry uh, NS <laughs> <laughs> but uh, did it happen to you because you also moved uh, from Amsterdam to The Hague uh, a couple of years ago yeah I mean you mean the NS train or the <laughs> the friendships <laughs> the friendship. yeah the friendship part. yeah I mean I, I've noticed that a lot of friends moved out of the city mm -hmm which was not an argument for us to move but um, yeah it, it does does change um, the the does change the energy does change the yeah semantics of seeing each other and yeah I, I do get I do get the concept like hey shall we do a beer in that bar mm -hmm. 
which is only a 15 minute bike yeah it's not so much organization but i think more and more it's more part of the context of the situation you're in a lot of friends of mine have a family and and so on so everything is super organized everything is planned or scheduled and all that stuff so in general uh, despite the place you're in um, yeah spontaneity is <laughs> is is hard to find nowadays um, so yeah I think that's that's a that's a given and yeah you need to uh, you accept it and, and that's how you live it but yeah I do I did find a lot of energy when I moved to a new city mm -hmm. a lot of energy to go out and explore to see to look to meet mm -hmm. to look for cool initiatives especially because we both have a blog a city blog yeah you you want to uh, go out and explore and meet yes. people like who are the creative makers in a city or is there a creative industry you know what are cool initiatives not always with the goal to to create content about or write a story about but to um, yeah build your new network yes. you know I think that's uh, places. Yeah. yeah but I think that's what, what we had in Amsterdam very much is that that creative network yes. and that's something I mean that's something apart from friendship it's what I do notice that if you're not visible again anymore in that creative network in a particular place um yeah you lose connection yeah that that is true <laughs> but it was i moved during the pandemic i i will keep saying this <laughs> where, did, where, where did you move <laughs> <laughs> so uh i think it was a moment where you would lose the connection with the network anyway because people were not uh, really doing stuff yeah. uh, back then okay. um i'm Actually, I'm so it was like a clean cut. Yeah, like, okay, yeah, bye. it was bye. I'm, I'm here now. Good timing. <laughs> yeah, um, indeed, it was a lot of new energy when I moved to Alkmaar. And I can tell you that um, I'm not a morning person. But <laughs> when I moved to Alkmaar, I started, I started waking up at five or uh, six o'clock in the morning. And I have this beautiful view over the city and I can see the sunrise from my window. Wow. So I've seen many, many beautiful sunrises in the, the first year in Alkmaar. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that happened. I don't know why I started waking up like that. But not mm. only waking up at six, but I was feeling fresh. Yeah. And I was like, yes, what am I going to do today? You know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. I felt like I had so many new things to, yeah. to explore. So, yeah, maybe that, that was the reason. <laughs> you still have that. Uh, not really. I have it sometimes, okay. but it doesn't happen that often anymore. Yeah, yeah. I still wake up early compared to my previous uh, waking hours, but uh, yeah. But uh, how is Ogmar? Does it have a? Is it has a cool network, creative industry? Is there? A lot of cool initiatives going on. Um, I'm not involved in any <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> in any uh, creative networks in Alkmaar. If they exist, and probably they are, uh, they are um, mainly Dutch speaking. So mm. I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. didn't make my entrance. I, I can say I, I didn't look for it actually. Okay. So I kept looking for uh, creative people in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. um, and the places I knew. Um, yeah, I think I'm still very much involved in Amsterdam. So I feel like I moved to a more distant neighborhood of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And I still have the cre creative network here. But Alkmaar uh, can inspire you okay. um, in a different way than Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, for my photography, for example, I don't do that much street photography in Alkmaar. <laughs> Maybe because the streets are <laughs> often quite empty. <laughs> the empty streets. Uh, You're literally a street photographer. <laughs> um, but when, yeah, if you go out in the morning, early morning or uh, in the evening, you don't see many people on the streets. Mm -hmm. So it's quiet and uh, if you come uh, home from uh, Amsterdam at 12 in the night or not 12 10 there is no, almost no one on yeah. the street yeah it's like quiet <laughs> just you the moon <laughs> the canals <laughs> nice. Nice. yeah because this podcast interview series is about a good place mm -hmm. <clears throat> what are things for you that make a place a good place 
Mm. Um, You've seen a city like Bucharest. You've seen a place like Amsterdam, now Alkmaar. Yeah, I think what makes a good place for me, well, I think it changed over the years first mm -hmm. because it depends on where you are, um, or you know, in your life, uh, what age you are, and what you want from mm -hmm. the city. Um, for example, when I was younger, maybe I wanted to be close to the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been a clubbing person, but uh, you know, it Reveal was. Reveal a secret. Here. <laughs> but it was, um, yeah, it was uh, easier if I was in a crowded city, yeah. let's say. Yeah. But, and now I'm looking more for a more quiet place. Mm. And what makes it a good place, I think, is um, for me, it needs to be beautiful. Yeah. I had this all my life, so mm -hmm. wherever I was, I was looking for something beautiful nice. because I can't feel good if I don't see some beauty around me, you know. Mm. Um, I used to live um, at some point in a very small uh, Romanian uh, city, mm -hmm. which I didn't like at all. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, that didn't feel like a good place. Mm. It was ugly, the buildings were ugly. Um, I didn't have uh, many friends, so of course that didn't make it a good place. But anyway, let's come back to present. <laughs> <laughs> so the beauty of a place, the beauty of a place makes a uh, yeah makes mm. it a good place, mm. and then of course it needs to be a place where I feel safe. Yeah. Um, I think I like having uh, everything close to me. So if everything is on yeah you know walking distance or maybe biking distance mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a good place hmm. uh, I you found it in Alkmaar yeah yeah okay. and I don't like um, crowded places like um, Bucharest uh, anymore mm. although when I go to Bucharest just for a few days it gives me a lot of energy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, um, it inspires me a lot yeah. because it's a totally different world and um, you meet different people there and you know but i wouldn't i don't think i would like to live there anymore you know yeah. the morning rush running to catch the metro and you yeah. had to keep the same pace with everybody otherwise mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will be yeah, you know yeah, yeah, left exactly. behind yeah. um yeah, it's a, the, the rat race the rat race yeah. Yeah. yeah and what else for a good place hmm. oh, I think, of course, the people. <laughs> yeah, but you said yeah. like people, yeah. of course. Yeah. The beauty, safety, mm -hmm. and 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 yeah, some sort of quietness and and space nature. To, yeah, yeah. To escape to. Yeah. To have a at least a park or uh, yeah. you know Green. canals like you have uh, here in the Netherlands. I like to see water around mm. me. Mm. I like every city that has a lot of water in it. Mm. Because this is this reminds me, if I may, yeah. um, you also did. Um, Although your blog is called Amsterdamian, um, you also made it a, your challenge to go and explore different cities and places in the Netherlands. Yes. So you've seen a lot of different places as well. That did you find some serious competition for Alkmaar? Um, yeah, sorry, Alkmaar. <laughs> <laughs> there is competition. Um, indeed, I had this. I started this uh, project of discovering all the Dutch provinces last yeah. year, and yeah. uh, I wanted to have like a challenge to discover one province a month, wow. which unfortunately didn't happen. Uh, because uh, you started. I started, yeah, but I didn't manage to do all the twelve provinces last year. I did uh, five, I think. Mm. Yeah, five provinces. I discovered many places um, in the Netherlands that I, I find, I mean, I think some people say the Netherlands is more or less the same everywhere you go, mm -hmm. but of course it's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there are uh, differences, there are quite big differences okay. uh, that you can see only by visiting one day, you know, without meeting too many people or uh, any people <laughs> yeah. um, or living there for a while. Um, I really liked some. Uh, Can you mention a few? Yeah, well, it's difficult to pick some of them. Um, I think uh, my favorite will still remain the North Holland province. Okay. Because I think it has 
the, the, the biggest density of beautiful places, mm -hmm. like from the smallest village to bigger cities. Yeah. But I also liked uh, North Brabant a lot. Okay, okay, <laughs> interesting. Um, uh, I liked um, uh, Amersfoort as a city. Oh. Yeah, I think it, it. I would like to live there. Oh, really? Yeah, I never considered Amersfoort, but uh, yeah, it, it's very old and it has. Uh <laughs> Waving to a boat, full yes. of tourists filming us. Do you think they are tourists? Yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. drinking tourists. <laughs> Well, at least it's, it's like not the weed boat, at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Amersfoort. Okay. Amersfoort and also Den Bosch. Yeah? I liked it a lot. Okay. Yes. Um, so you see yourself living there at one point, maybe? I could live there, but yeah. I, it's not like I no, no, want no, to move course. right now, you know. No. It's just I could live there, yeah. There are places. And of course, uh, there are many uh, small villages where um, you see uh, people living a, hmm. a beautiful life. Yeah. with animals around them, uh, children, you know, just playing in the street. They don't care about uh, yeah. cars because there is a car every, I don't know, few hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I visited a few uh, places in Utrecht, more on the village side mm -hmm. in Utrecht, like um, Abkaude. It's called the most beautiful village in the Utrecht province. You say Abkaude? Abkaude, yeah. But that's close to Amsterdam? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I yeah. see Abkaude sometimes as a suburb of Amsterdam. Yeah? yeah. Oh, I never thought of it. It's quite yeah. larger buildings, quite... You got, you got to have you got to have a wallet, as the same day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, many of these uh, very beautiful villages are quite expensive. Yeah. Like, for example, uh, Bergen, yeah. which is close to Alkmaar. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a uh, beautiful village, but it's expensive as and well. A lot of people from Amsterdam moved there as well. Yeah. I uh, even heard that if, if something com becomes vacant as a, a house mm -hmm. once for sale, it's gone within no time. Really? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta be quick. I, I can imagine why, you know, those yeah. touched roofs and... Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is gorgeous and surrounded by forest. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's a nice um, overview of, of places in the Netherlands. Alkmaar, Amersfoort, Den Bosch. Maybe who, who knows this, we travel there and invite people over on a public bench. Oh, I would like to mention another one. There you go. <laughs> I would like to mention Eindhoven. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, because nobody yeah, likes cut, cut, <laughs> cut, cut, like <laughs> edit this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I liked Eindhoven okay. and I have a friend who told me I think that's the uh, ugliest city in the Netherlands yeah. <laughs> and it is an ugly city if okay. you consider it like this but it had such a good vibe talking about okay. good places. Uh, I An went ugly duckling can still be very fun. And yes, and I, I uh, when I wrote about uh, Eindhoven my, in my article, I um, I named, um, I don't remember exactly, but I named Eindhoven something like uh, a woman who is not uh, uh, beautiful by, uh, you know, the standard... Uh <laughs> yeah, the, duck, the duckling is actually <laughs> laughing at you. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 I can tell you, Eindhoven is, is, is a nice uh, place. Nice. It has a great vibe, it has a lot of um, art uh, exhibitions and... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the Dutch, um, Dutch Design Week. Yes, the Dutch Design Week. Actually next, happening next month. And yeah. I've been a couple of times in November for the Glow Eindhoven. Okay, yeah. Which is the competition for uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam Light, Light Festival, yeah. Festival yeah. and I liked it more than Amsterdam Light Festival mm. at least in the beginning because last time when I went there it was so so crowded so I guess other people found out about it <laughs> yeah. as well so yeah I wanted to mention Eindhoven okay okay, okay. <laughs> it made it made it made the cut overall <laughs> well dear Dana I think Time flies when you're having fun. Is that we're already heading towards uh, the end of this this conversation? Um, so overall, um, that's that's one of the main questions, of course, I'm asking. Um, is is are you in a good place overall? Um, yeah, I think I'm in a good place right now. Hmm. It's a it is a challenging place as well um, at the moment, but uh, I think I am in a good place. I think I am in a good place, like a living situation yeah. and also in my life. 
because well we didn't talk much about this but i've <laughs> i've done some uh, career changes yeah. uh, in the past years i went from a normal uh, schedule a regular uh, nine to five uh, job in a corporation i went to being a freelancer and working more on the creative side writing doing photography blogging and social media management yeah. um, and i think this is a very challenging moment mm -hmm. but it's also a good yeah. moment in my life because it's something that I wanted for a long time and now it's finally happening yeah. and uh, yeah <laughs> I guess the answer is yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean and it gives you a lot of room to make moves left and right yeah. and and I know how challenging it is and I think it will always be if you at one point uh, embrace the fact that it will be always be challenging then you you feel more at ease uh, while you do it but yeah if you have a clear goal um, and i like your work and uh, we'll, we'll link it and we'll share it definitely here so i think that's also what we love doing uh, especially when we think it's worthwhile um, should definitely check out all the uh, channels that uh, website that she's hosting and her work um, it inspires me and it forces me maybe as well to go different places in the Netherlands and check them out. I'm inspired. I'll skip Eindhoven. Uh, I've been there. <laughs> check. Okay. Uh, please don't uh, be, uh, be, please be nice in the comments. <laughs> Even if you're from Eindhoven. Um, it's very subjective, of course. All right. I'm going to thank you for your time. You. I really appreciate this conversation and your view on cities. Um, it inspired me to look different at cities, maybe as my girlfriend or boyfriend or whatsoever. I imagine that for the cities that you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what kind of character yeah. that fits me and, and that kind of Give stuff. Give a persona. Absolutely. I, I will, I will. <laughs> um, thanks again for watching and uh, on YouTube and listening through our podcast channels. Please uh, subscribe and like. As usual, it would mean uh, a lot to us. Um, yeah, and who knows uh, who's going to be next uh, on a public bench somewhere near you. Okay, have a nice day. Take care. Bye. Ciao.